footage of Daigo actually angry. Justin's turtle style overcome Ralph. Now on the verge of putting Daigo down. One nothing. The original Street Fighter is really where everything began. That had a lot of firsts within the system. In that game, there is really only two characters. You could play as Ryu, or if you were a challenger, you were able to play as Ken. the first time that we ever had special moves in a fighting game. They were complete secrets to anyone. They had to actually just mess around with the control scheme until they could figure out how to execute them. They were also very, very complicated to do, so it kind of added to the overall mystery behind Street Fighter. Favorite Street Fighter move is the Tatsu because it makes no sense at all and it's amazing. Hadouken! Oh, you want the regular? <laughs> Hadouken! You want the EX version? Hadouken! You want the critical art version? And then you charge it up? Hadouken! <laughs> Shoryuken. Dragon Punch! My favorite move is the Shoryuken because it has saved me so many times from losing in tournaments. I played Ken. He's just mad cool. He's blind. He's a billionaire. He has fire. You know, he's just really cool. Ken is my favorite character because I think all of his moves look very, very flashy. And I know that you need to know how to play Street Fighter in order to play that character at a very top level. So that's why I like playing Ken. How do I pronounce Ryu? Oh geez, how do I pronounce Ryu? Uh, I'd have to go with Ryu. Oh, there's multiple ways, but I think the Japanese say Ru. Okay, I think a better question is, how don't you pronounce R-Y-U? Oh, but it's not Ryu. Do not murder the character's name by saying Ryu. And Ryu is basically the essential basis style for Street Fighter, right? Street Fighter, baby. There you go. Yeah. There you go. yeah. Street Fighter 1, I mean, it was a one-player game. <laughs> you put in two quarters, you hit two players, you play against each other, Ryu versus Ken. Whoever won, that was it. That person went to fight the computer. You couldn't continue, you couldn't challenge anybody. When I went first time Korean arcade, uh, I hate so much Korean arcade because everyone's smoking. But I'm just curious why so many people is playing this game. I was like, wow, this is the sickest thing I've ever seen, you know? It's like RTS but fighting because it's like a chess, fast-paced chess. You make decisions. This is really, really awesome genre and I just really fell in love to it. A lot of games, they're designed to suck your money away and stuff like that, right? But people got good at them, people wanted their quarters to last a really long time. 
The concept of going to an arcade and putting a quarter in the machine to play somebody else and that guy beating you in two minutes and then you just spent your 25 cents and walked away was completely foreign. You weren't losing to the game, you were losing to another person. <laughs> It was such a unique thing, like the, the graphics, the music, the, 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 the sound effects, everything about the game. It was just such a beautiful package. I never stopped playing since the original Street Fighter 2, all the way through Champion Edition, and then a friend of ours got a hyper fighting machine in his house, the arcade cabinet. We would go during the summer and play like every night, and it was crazy, and yeah, my life just basically became all about Street Fighter. That CPS board, the audio on that is just so crisp that it cuts through all the noise. And so you're drawn immediately in the cacophony of the arcade to the Street Fighter machine. And what you see there is a huge throng of players. they really nailed the overall concept of being a world warrior. There's a way for a very wide audience to find a connection with at least one of those characters in the game. Capcom just hit the nail on the head. You know, they really did hit the nail on the head with Street Fighter 2. They made such memorable characters and characters that we all grew up with. I like Bog because out of all the people in Street Fighter, Bog is one of the few people who just like who's just a dude with who's just a dude that punches you. He's he's, he's not a karate master. He, he's, he's just some random guy who's, who's just really strong. He's the Floyd Mayweather of Street Fighter, undefeated champ. There's no escape. My fight money. Stop it. Time to get paid. Sonic boom. <laughs> My favorite is Cammy because I think he's just simple and honest. My favorite character is Zangief because I've always wanted to deal the most damage possible at any given time. Siberian! I am the Red Cyclone! Horror Show! Oh, yes. yeah, we got those. Mm. <laughs> we love you, Sakia! My main character, my favorite character, is Dalzen. I just like how he looks. Since I'm gonna pick up Street Fighter, I've only played versus mode. So I thought he was a bad guy because he has like flames. Like, you know, skulls, he floats, he looks like a voodoo witch, you know what I mean? But then when Street Fighter 4 came out, um, I wanted to unlock the characters, but so you have to play the arcade or, you know, have to finish it. Wow, he's actually giving water to the children. He's a nice guy. Oh my god, I ruined my image. The path of yoga is one of harmony, not violence. このブランカとはですね、もう僕のツイッターの第一番最初のポストの時からの付き合いなんですけども、まあとある国のハッピーミールのおまけのあの彼の付き合いなので、気持ち的にはそういうやつなんですけども、なぜまあこいつなのかっ
storyline wise, Street Fighter Alpha actually took a step backwards in the franchise. It fills in the gaps between Street Fighter 1 and Street Fighter 2. It had a brand new art style. New gameplay mechanics would have been the alpha counter features. I think the biggest challenge that Street Fighter faced was after the launch of Street Fighter 3. For Street Fighter 3, it was a little bit more obscure. The mark of my dignity shall scar thy DNA. They pushed it into a very futuristic concept, and a lot of the characters on there didn't have fighting styles that people could really resonate with. The hardcore fighting game community still embraced it. Some of the greatest moments in fighting game history come from Street Fighter 3, but I think that since it didn't have that original essence of the World Warrior, it was difficult for that game to catch on on a mainstream level. So I started playing it in 2006. My buddy, he's like, check this out. And I loaded it up and I was like, oh my God, the animation's so beautiful. And uh, I just, I loved it. I fell in love immediately. It was like love at first sight. I started looking for tournaments and events to go to like right after I started playing the game. Coming to Japan, it's like, you know, the scene's so accessible. There's like, there's arcades everywhere. You know what's really sick about Third Strike? The character select song. It's basically like the pinnacle of like that era of fighting games. It's like a game of chicken. Who's gonna parry? Who's gonna attack? Yeah, the footsie game on Third Strike is really interesting. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people say that Third Strike is probably the most different of all the Street Fighter games. Oh yeah, and it's absolutely true. The parry changes everything in this game. For 2D fighting games, like the, you know, it's like the best looking fighting game. It's pixel art. の、プロ、プログラムやり込んでたと思うので、その時間で言うとめちゃくちゃ毎日やって考えてやってた。すごい思い入れのあるゲームなんで、サードサイクは一番、まあ好き、好きというか思い入れがあります。So Street Fighter 4 was the game that really revitalized Street Fighter. The 
before that point, the franchise hadn't seen a main numbered iteration in over 10 years. It was the first time that we had used 3D models, but still decided to keep the game on its 2D plane. It also had a very new, innovative system mechanic called focus attacks that really rewarded players if they were able to predict their opponent. It allows you to absorb an attack and use that to your advantage, which was really unique for a fighting game. Kawara no, Kawara de, what is it? Co, 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 co. So, kids are like, "Wow!" At the stage, there's a stage where you can do that. So, 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 you can I honestly love Ibuki, just like her character design, just the way that she moved and her, the addition of the kunai's, that's why she's my favorite to be honest. Elfrate. Elfrate also she must mean. It's super dynamic cooking time! Mm, he just looks really funny at that time and you know we just want to have fun. We're not picking the strongest character when you're 18 years old. He looks really cool and, you know, when you're playing in arcades, people usually boo more on the stronger characters because it's really cheap. So when you play weaker characters, you make more friends. So I kind of like that feeling. Yeah. Mais pour moi, ça reste du Street Fighter 4 parce que c'est de là que bah, tout toute l'ère du, du versus fighting a commencé, je pense. Si je dois choisir un Street Fighter, je vais choisir Street Fighter 4. Parce que il a le plus de temps et le plus de temps dans le monde. Je pense que Street Fighter 4, je suis devenu le meilleur joueur. Pour moi, Street Fighter 4. C'est la plus like mémorable ère pour moi. Street Fighter 4 was the first Street Fighter game I played. Big life lead. Oh, he took the risk. Back that played off. And Shed's back in this. Not only a ton of damage, Logan, but a hard knockdown. Full Can't kill him on this. He oh, oh my god, it. Shed! Shed! Shen clutches it out! He's too good! Well, well, Alex hey, hey, the give move. him a hand! Give him another hand! Oh! Oh! Alex Bayer grabbing him with the Ultra oh 2! Oh my! This is not going to be enough quite yet, but he's right there. What's the follow-up? And it just overheads him! Alex Bayer sending Bajan in the loser's bracket! Oh Alex Bayer! Oh my god! Just like that, Mr. Street Fighter shows he came here to play! Beautiful stand short, which covers so much space. Yeah. And the Feng Shui engine is active. Oh, he got him! He got him! That could be it! Right down to the wire. Oh, no! Oh, that hot back! Oh, like I said, so much... So much... Now, I, I, slowing it down! Oh! With the oh! Into the right side, oh! it out! He faked it out! Nemo! I am here to play, make an announcement. Oh, this has become a danger. Two bar. Oh, oh no, that's not what he wanted. He wanted the ultra. For sure. Yeah. Oh, he got oh, it. Oh, I think that's is it. That, is that fast enough? It is. It is. It's not going to quite kill. Reinhardt, can he do it one more time? Oh, too far. Not quite there. One more two. Oh, that's oh, he it. Gets it with Reinhardt. A Reinhardt stealing four rounds with amazing comebacks. That is clutch. That is what you call clutch.
gameplay-wise, that also was the start of the variable system. It was also a brand new mechanic. It uses a V skill, which is a move that can be done by any character at any time. And then a V trigger, which essentially is the kind of the comeback mechanic for Street Fighter V. My favorite character in Street Fighter V is Laura because she's Brazilian and she uh, is uh, attractive. <laughs> Boom! That's how you start the fight and finish it quickly. Nikali, character design-wise, he's awesome. He looks amazing. Devour. V trigger Nikali Super. Yep, all day. I get a chunk of damage, and we in the corner, and I get Oki, and you gotta hold this mix up, and I get plus frames. My favorite character for Street Fighter is Yuri. Medium chariot tackle, dude. That's my favorite. Yuri is chop. You know, chop you, chop your head down. because she's super strong and she really stays her ground and she reminds me of Baby Spice from the Spice Girls. <laughs> I'm a big card fan. You know, I love, I love the royalty. I love the good moves. I love the bad moves. But ultimately, I love the laugh. Oh! <laughs> It, 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 it ain't that funny. No, he it is that's funny though. It is funny. It is funny. It is funny. My favorite move in Street Fighter would have to be any type of command grab. Mika's Irish whip because you can really lead that into anything. <laughs> Lady Mika! Crush counters make Street Fighter awesome. <laughs> oh my god, pick up the chains. Bling, bling, bling. Yes. あれでも、フォーの時に比べたら全然出てきてるフォーだと思うけどね。フォーはもう多分日本にいる上級者、フォー、フォーの頃ね。もう絶対勝てなかった。要はもう歴が長すぎて。で、しかもあのゲームってす
、まあ、プレイヤーになってほしいなっていうのは一つの夢ですあのプレイヤーたちはすごい期待しているタイトルなのでまだまだあの期待してます。はい